So what's up guys, this is Traveling Eddie and I'm going to show you the airport here, the Jose Maria Cordova International Airport that serves Medellin. The airport is actually located in the city of Rio Negro. This is Rio Negro on the other side of Medellin. Medellin is that way over that mountain ridge. But we are here in Rio Negro, so let me give you a brief tour of the airport inside. So shall we go flying to different places in the world? That's my own music. It's a small airport. It's a small world after all. No gimbal. You can get down to Medellin very quickly and swiftly. Same thing. By cab or your own car, if you rent one or somebody picks you up or you take the bus, as long as you take the airport bus that goes down Palmas Ave through the tunnel de Oriente, el tunnel de Oriente, you'll be there like in 35 minutes flat down at San Diego if you want to get off there and then take a cab to um, Poblado, which is five to ten minutes away by cab, depending on where you're going from San Diego uh, shopping center roundabout traffic circle area and those airport buses you actually get them downstairs when you come out of the international arrivals area when you come out there and just keep in mind there are two buses one that goes through the Medellin Bogota highway if you don't need that one then you if you're going to a Poblado which is part of Medellin or Laureles take the one that goes down Palms Avenue just say el que va por Palmas el que va para San Diego and that's it, and you get off there, and when you get off at the underpass of the uh, uh, Avenida Oriental uh, Ave, then right there there are taxis waiting, yellow cabs, and they're pretty safe from what I saw the other day to take. And you can take one right there, and you just say which way you're going. Give the address, and they take you, and they got meters that run. So make sure the meter's running. But it starts off at like at 3,800 pesos or whatever. The minimum fare is 5,500 pesos. And you're asking, how much is that in dollars? Hey, the exchange rate is constantly changing. Right now, it's like 3,980 pesos for one U.S. dollar. So I can't give you really a precise figure. But this, uh, the minimum fare is about a buck, a buck 30, a dollar 30. And the bus, the airport bus, if you want to take the airport bus to cheap weight, it's 13,000 pesos. That's $3 and some change. Pretty good. And it's got the luggage uh, the, a compartment in the back in case you got big luggage, heavy luggage. If you want to see a video that I made about where to catch the bus to come up here, uh, just check it out. F look for it on the list. Now we're going to go into the airport here. Jose Maria Cordova. Aeropuerto Internacional Rio Negro, like I told you. Here we go, we're going in. That's the domestic departures entrance. They got all kinds of shops here and everything. I put on my mask now, so my voice will sound muffled. It is sounding muffled. What am I talking about? And if you're wondering why there's a Christmas tree, it's December 2021. Today's actually December 23rd. I don't know when you see this video, but it's December 23rd, 2021. Santa Clara uh, pastry and bakery is very good. You should try some. Or you always have Dunkin' Donuts if you just prefer good old American DD, double D. There are ATM machines here. The best one is Cajero, Banc Colombia, the one in the middle. People are standing in line for. And this is the airport. It's an old airport. It's a small airport. It's nothing big, fancy, schmancy, but it does serve its purpose. You got these self-serve check-in kiosks if you need one for the airlines you see right there. Want some good ice cream? Traditional Mimos. Mimos ice cream. Awesome. Santa Elena is another good pastry shop. I recommend Santa Elena as well. They got a lot of points of sale all throughout the city. And we got one everywhere in the country. The same as the other one, Santa Clara. You got a Jotaice Delicias up there. Good restaurant with typical arepas with different varieties of arepas. I want to buy souvenirs to take back home if you're going out. This is a souvenir shop. I think they have two, three or four of them. You want Starbucks competition, excellent coffee, come to Juan Valdez. Good old Juan Valdez with Lolita, Mamita, I forgot the mule's name, and that's Juan Valdez and place to sit. Beautiful women to look at, handsome men if you want a woman. 
I mean, if you are a woman, you want to look at handsome men, I'm a man, so I look at beautiful women. This is the international departures area, and at the end over there is where you take your international flight, and here's where you do the check-in if you're using one of these other airlines, of Yanka's behind us, but this is for other airlines. So you can see some people are using the self-check-in kiosks. Saves a lot of time and probably money too. You want to exchange some dollars, you come here, Euro services or whatever currency you have, you can exchange it here. You have to show your ID, sign some documents, fingerprint, and that's it. Here's another uh, souvenir shop, Tierra Dentro. Handcrafts things. This guy's running to make his flight, probably came late. You should come here not three hours before, but four hours before. And then you got to go through some security checkpoints right there. Show your passport right there to go in, boarding pass, whatever, and then go through. Remember, do the check MIG. If you're coming this way, check MIG and Migración Colombia if you're coming here. And there's a picture of La Piedra del Peñol right up there. Visit Piedra del Peñol and Guatape. I have videos on that on my channel. Hope you have liked this video. That's it for now, guys. I'll let you go. Take care. Until next time. Hasta la vista, baby. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever. Happy New Year, whenever you see this. All that good stuff.